What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with the final part of Red Dwarf Season Series 8 Episode 1. And before we dive in, please don't forget to smash that subscribe, get a video a thumbs up. Let's find out what happens. Tropic testing should be well underway by now. Those results sure are gonna be interesting. The psychotropic what? The list of cases so unusual that I decided to invoke my right to use psychotropic evidence. The accused are drugged, wired to a mainframe. Then the computer feeds in various hypothetical scenarios and their reactions are laid down on tape. Right now they believe they're escaping, but we just want to observe what they do. So that means that if anyone happens to mention any special agreements that they've entered into, then... Could you excuse me? I think I've left the eyes. <laughs> sexual appetite of a mountain lion. No worse, <laughs> first year nursing student. I don't know what being wanted in such an aphrodisiac. Gotta get some control back. Stop working. <laughs> Never realized you were so damn popular with the ladies. Maybe you can share your secret sometime. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. Is it? 
Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god
need to help you get out if the program freezes. Precisely. There'll be a cryptic clue around somewhere. Uh, something like a trap door or exit. I got it! There's a button here with E11T on it. And? 11 is XI in Roman numerals. E-X-I-T. Exit. He got that. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is not reality. <laughs> that proves without a shadow of a doubt, this is not reality. <laughs> That's it. Now we're oh. Oh, my lord. Well, somehow we wound up in the screensaver. We need to locate a power source so we can switch the AR machine on. Power source? Well, there has to be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe it's in this high soul. <laughs> There's some food in here. So? Including a bottle of ketchup. Tomatoes. So? Power ketchup, get it? What's to get? Power sauce! <laughs> Pictures of me smart when it's made out of plasticine. <laughs> oh. Oh. You backstabbing Weasley Smegger! You were trying to frame us! Listen, just the man. Now, I know at first glance this may look bad. God, he's gorgeous. Oh, hold it back. Please hold it. Please. No more. No more. Those nostrils are driving me crazy. I've simply got to hold it back. Right. Help me. <laughs> Mr. Catcher, put the lift on hold. I want his babies. Yeah. <laughs> Not the babies. God dang. The virus, you still got it. Take some. It'll cure the virus and restore you both to normal. Oh God, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> what now, Rolf? No time to lose. You should head for the nearest one of these. <laughs> you mean a moon? Exactly. <laughs> He's right. We can regroup there and continue our search for the nanos. What about me? Well, suggest we persuade you to come with us, sir, or failing that, we bludgeon you unconscious. Him come with us? Are you out of your mind? That's so dumb, I should have said it. <laughs> Mr. Rimmer has had access to the confidential file, sir. He knows all the security codes. Without him, our chances of escape are about as remote as meeting an interesting hairdresser called Kylie. Why would I want to take off with you, Lot? What have you got to offer? Well, I'm very good at laundry, sir. I do a damn fine moon impression. <laughs> so gorgeous, there's a six month waiting list for birds to suddenly appear every time I'm here. And you know what they say, sir. If you've got three good friends, you're a rich man. Only poor people say that. <laughs> Forget it. He's not going to change his mind. He's right. Time is of the essence. The crew will know we're out of AR now and are probably sending someone to investigate. So? If I leave, I'm always going to be a failure. The shame of it. Every time I have a boiled egg, knowing I don't even outrank the toasty soldiers. <laughs> I'm not an officer, a man of honor. Officers aren't men of honor, they're head cases. Those induction pranks they play when you're qualified. I've dreamt of that proud day for years now. As I wake up after the celebration party and find my pubes are orange and I'm handcuffed to a goat. Oh, oh my and lord. The most hilarious of all. Discovering someone super glued me to the rear of one of those rabbits that whizzes round greyhound tracks. <laughs> oh, those mad shapes they play on you. I can't miss all that. That's not gonna happen for you now, man. Just like it didn't happen for the other Rimmer. We're giving you a second chance at life and an opportunity for you to screw it up in a new and original way. <laughs> 
<laughs> you'll get your own seat in the cockpit, and you'll be in control of at least five buttons. Right, so don't be pathetic. He's hardly going to be impressed at the prospect of being in charge of a few buttons. Five, you say? <laughs> no more vending machine maintenance. No more getting heckled by drinks dispensers. That's five whole buttons. A new start, a new life. You wake up in the morning and you want to leap out of bed. Well, in your case, Mr. Listershire, that's because your sheets are covered in pointy poverdom shards. <laughs> Tell me more about these buttons. Are some illuminated? Oh, my say, God. The old rumor was a vital member of the team. He performed essential functions we've never replaced. What did he do? I don't know, really. <coughs> yeah. He was, um... Head of safety. Head of safety? That's a hell of a title. But what did he actually do? He sorts out danger. He sorts out peril. And then he advises the best way to run away from it. <laughs> Head of safety. Five buttons. I'm in. <laughs> He's in. Let's celebrate. I'll crack open a bottle of cyanide. <laughs> Hey, what if they still somehow, some way in the AR though? That's what would be really crazy. This is ground control. You don't appear to have flight clearance. You're the ground controller? Please state your name and clearance code. Reality sucks. <laughs> Reality sucks. <laughs> One second, Mr. Socks. Just checking my clearance list. Just do the smacking dance. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Dance? With her, I'd have trouble walking. <laughs> Uh -oh. According to the supplies inventory, we're frighteningly low on... <laughs> and everyone was so happy, I can barely say it out loud. What are we frighteningly low on? Oxygen? Worse, fabric softener. <laughs> Suggest we chart a course to the nearest derelict, the SS Einstein, <laughs> before everyone's woolens get all bibbly bobbly. <laughs> Einstein? Wasn't he the dude who discovered America? Oh my Einstein god. Einstein discovered the theory of relativity. Where did he discover it? Was it fossilized and stuff? Oh my god. The theory of relativity is... <laughs> what is the theory of relativity? Yeah. What is it, Hop? Bit busy at the moment, Dave. Well, just tell us what it is in sort of simple layman's terms. It's a theory. <laughs> yeah, but what is it? <clears throat> oh, you want it more complicated than that, do you? <clears throat> what does it mean? It's the theory of relativity. You know, it's the theory you only tell your relatives. <laughs> it's the theory you only tell your relatives. That's what it is. E equals MC squared. But what does it mean, though? E is energy. Energy equals MC squared. That's M times C times by another C. Oh, That's my MC, God. MC, though. What? <laughs> what is it? MC? MC. Well, MC is obviously Master of Ceremonies. <laughs> Energy equals Master of Ceremonies squared. He was very overrated, Einstein. Oh my god. That's why he left quantum physics and went into the look-alike business. So sad. Holly's supposed to have an IQ of 6,000. Now I doubt he can even spell IQ. If I'm so stupid, if I'm computer senile, explain this then. Explain what? You can't, can you? <laughs> Explain what? It's no good stall in trying to buy time. Oh my I'm god. So stupid. Explain why I was able to recreate a new set of nanobots and get them to resurrect the crew. What? Hey, what? what? 
thought you'd be pleased. <laughs> well, why? My job is to keep Dave sane. True, I'm not that good at it. <laughs> I do my best. That's why I create these little diversions to keep him occupied. Paul, oh, we could have wound up doing two years in the brig. We still could. I've just worked it out. We're still in AR. I knew it. What? In computer jargon, my plans have all gone tits up. <laughs> I knew they were. I was out thought and out maneuvered. Who by? By a superior intellect. You mean the hand drying the men's toilets has outsmarted you again? <laughs> no, by that other version of me. The one on Red Wolf. This is still our trial. Our trial? Why didn't you say? If I'd have known I'd have worn a tie. <laughs> well, for me, Lister's Nanobot story is corroborated. They were trying to track them down. Their actions in the psychotropically induced scenario bear that out. I agree, Frank. I also believe we died and were indeed resurrected. Again, borne out by their actions. So, original charges, all innocent. But it's equally apparent that they use classified information from the crew's confidential files to their own ends. I suspected Rimmer had access the moment he walked into my office and began acting incredibly smart and knowledgeable. What a giveaway. <laughs> That's why I got him to lick one of the psychotropic envelopes when I invited him to dinner. So, abusing classified information. That's a fresh charge. And on that, they're all guilty. That's a statutory sentence. I know. Two years in the brig. So instead of the original charge and a possible sentence of two years in the brig, They've been found guilty on another charge and got an entirely different two years in the brig. <laughs> That's going to be a great comfort to them. I'll bring them round and break the news. This is reality? But how can we be sure? Why do you care? Nothing makes any sense no matter where we are. <laughs> Look, everything was real before we licked the envelopes, right? Then we conked out and got carted off to AR. Before we licked anything. Before we licked anything. I lent you my Holly watch. So if this is reality, I should still be wearing it. Oh yeah, this is reality, all right. I'd recognise it anywhere. <laughs> I'd recognise it anywhere. Again, you found them on Starbuck before we licked the envelopes. The luck virus. Maybe we can get out of this mess. I'll have that. The lab boys are going to want to run tests on it. Where's the other one? I'm afraid I lost it, sir. God damn it, Rimmer! I wanted that! I mean, the lab boys wanted it. Tested it, too. Damn. This is all your fault. My fault? You betrayed us over that confidential file scan. Stole the sexual magnetism virus. Lied to us. And generally behave like a self-serving, scum-sucking, ruthless little rat bag. And that's bad? <laughs> it is the finding of this inquiry that you have been found guilty of contravening Act 21 of the Space Federation. Before sentencing, you will have medical so you can be assigned appropriate prison status. I've buckered this up a bit, haven't I? <laughs> You did. You definitely did. God dang. Welcome to the tank. <laughs> oh my god. up halls but that's okay that's okay because now I got Red Dwarf I got Holly and I got Rumor Rat what more can I ask for that was a great job uh, coming into series one I can't wait for the next episode but if you guys enjoyed that please don't forget to subscribe give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time